here. PCT. Southern Terminus. I'm traveling all day and I'm freaking tired. PCT. You see behind me? There's the Mexico border. There's the wall. Yes, there is a wall. <laughs> um, and here is the Southern Terminus sign. And I'm here, about to start my PCT hike. Um, probably not going to do a whole lot today. It's late in the afternoon. It's like, God, I don't even know. It's like 3 o'clock ish. Um, but I'm going to try to. Put some miles in, get to a campsite somewhere, and just pass out because I am tired. But I just wanted to show everybody I'm here. Made it to the beginning. <laughs> Way more to go. Just want to show everybody the view from where I'm at. Again, I'm still at the, the southern terminus at the beginning of the trail, but look at how beautiful the desert is. It is freezing out here, by the way. It's like 70 something degrees with a lot of wind. It is freaking cold. Whoever said the desert was hot, I know it's going to get hot, but it is freaking cold right now. Fortunately, I got a lot of downhill ahead of me because I had to walk a lot of uphill just to get to the terminus because this is the top of the freaking hill, which I didn't realize at the time, but now I know. So a lot of downhill walk ahead of me. Um, I will check back in with you guys whenever I have time, whenever I can catch my breath and I can breathe. Um, I'm at like 2,500 feet elevation. I'm not used to being this high up. Um, you know, Philly's at 65 degrees of elevation, or 65 feet, I mean, not degrees. So it's, you know, I got to catch my breath a little bit here and there, especially since I'm a, uh, I'm a smoker. Um, by the way, I'm vaping for the trip, not smoking. Um, I, I still have a couple cigarettes left in my pack, and once I kill those off, those will be my last cigarettes. And I will be vaping from there forward until I cut that out and I am done smoking, hopefully. So a little bit of personal news for me. Well, I hit the first mile sign. One mile down. I'm going to make the gratuitous joke that every PCT, PCT hiker makes when they get here. Only 2,651 to go. But just grabbing a little bit of water. I was taking off my rain jacket because I was starting to sweat. I was starting to get a little hot. Um, so just taking a quick little break, heading out. Um, probably only going to do 2.7 today. Um, this is about two miles in to get to the terminus. And then, so that put me at like a what a uh, 4.7 mile day i got a late start so i'm okay with that um yeah so i'll show you my camp when i get there when i get set up what's going on everybody got to my first campsite and i'm cooking up some dinner some uh mountain house biscuits and gravy should be delicious um just trying to boil up my water which is just happening now So, all right, so I gotta let this sit for four minutes and start again. But it was a long day. I only did like 2.7 miles um, on trail miles. There was another two to get to the terminus. So, altogether, I did 4.7 miles. Um, not really pushing hard at 4.7 miles, but. You know what, between last week, getting uh, most of the stuff out of my apartment, you know, traveling, getting here, I'm just beat. You know what, I'm just tired. Uh, I just decided that I didn't care about the miles today. I found the first campground I could get to. Um, there's water here, so I don't have to worry about if I'm hiking to get water or anything like that. Um, I just camped out, and I'm just chilling out tonight. Um... I'm going to eat this biscuits and gravy. I'm going to devour this biscuits and gravy. It's going to be amazing. So this is my first night. I'm pretty beat. Um, yeah, I admit, uh, it was a lot today. Um, we'll see how this goes. Um, 
feel a little down today, honestly. Like, the first day out here, like, there was that rush of getting here and getting to the terminus and being all happy and like, oh my god, we're here. And then as soon as I wore off, it's like, I just got beat. I just got real tired. So... See how I feel tomorrow. Um, I'm going to sleep as much as I can tonight. It's like 6.50 now. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be up for much longer. Probably another hour or so. But, and then I'm just passing out. And I'm going to sleep until... I don't even know. 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to try to catch like 12 hours of sleep. I just I just need to rest. Um, it was a long day. It was a pretty hard day. Um the trail coming down wasn't that bad. It's, it was that two miles to get to the terminus was like all uphill. And it just kind of, I was so pumped for the, for getting there. And I was just, I kind of pushed and I don't know, it just kind of beat me up a little bit. Um, I met this really nice girl, Anya. Um, we actually met at the bus depot where we caught the bus to get out here. Um, so we were chilling um, for a while. She's a real sweet girl. She's 18. Um, she's from like Maine. And she is, um, she's got 18 year old legs. She can run. So we were walking down towards the terminus together and like, I just looked up and she was gone. We met back up at the terminus, but like, I, there was no way I was going to keep up with her. So maybe I'll see her later on down the trail. Maybe I won't, you know, um, she's a nice girl though. So I wish her luck. I hope she does well. I also met a group of, uh, Canadians, <laughs> um, uh, as a family of three. They were actually on our bus. They came through a different depot, um, but they were on the same bus as us. And, you know, we were all up at the terminus together, kind of hung out for a little bit, and they took off too. They probably, Anya said she was going to do like four or five miles today because she was a little tired too from the travel. Um, I'm sure the people from Canada, it's probably the same thing, four to five miles. None of us were really looking to like go out there and burn. They brought up a good point that I didn't even think about with this, all this coronavirus stuff in the... There's people from Europe who can't get here to do the trail that are referring to come out here. So there might be a lot less people out here than normal years. So we'll see. Um, let's see how I feel tomorrow. I'll take it slow. Um, I'm, I'm feeling a little beat up. I'm not going to lie. My back's a little stiff. Um, the camp spot I got isn't the best camp spot in the world. It's a, it's a little buggy because I'm, I'm close to the water. But you know what? At that point, I just didn't care. <laughs> So I'm going to pound this mountain house. I'm going to hydrate, drink some water, um, probably make myself a little hot chocolate. <laughs> um, I might film a little bit later when I'm back in my tent, but we'll see. Good morning. It's day two. It just woke up. And it's raining. And I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Uh, I guess that'll be my motivation to get out of a warm sleeping blanket. Oh, Lord. This will be fun. Hey, what's going on, family? Uh, got a late start today. Um, didn't roll out until like 10.30-ish. Um, it was still raining this morning. I just didn't, you know, it just took me a while to get my tent set up. Or tent broke down and everything like that. Um, I guess in the rain, you're just moving half speed. You're trying not to get soaked, but, you know. You're just going to get soaked. It's just the way it is, but I'm on the move now. Um, I went to fill up my water before I left because I was camped near a stream, and I felt bad. And, um, this lady walked by, and I was like, hey, you're uh, going the wrong direction. She goes, I'm done. She goes, I did 10 miles yesterday. I got soaking wet. I'm freezing my ass off. I'm done. <laughs> oh, good morning, everybody. It's day three. And it's pissing rain again. <laughs> uh, I thought I might actually have a dry tent to pack away today. Mm, guess not. <sighs> just trying to get myself together today. I didn't do a whole lot yesterday. I only did just under three miles, I think. Sorry, that's my CPAP cleaner saying it's done. Um, I did like three miles yesterday. Just first night I didn't get a lot of sleep and it kind of caught up with me. Um... So I just kind of crashed out early. So I stopped at, I don't know, this is like 5.5 tent site. So I stopped here, um, took a nap in the afternoon and just kind of crashed out my tent all day. And then somewhere around three or four in the morning, it just started pouring. So I'm packing up, getting ready to start my day. I want to try to do six today, which put me in mile 
something for another ten site. And then I can do another four tomorrow, which will put me right at the base of a uh, Hauser uh, Hill Mountain, whatever you want to call it. And then it'll be a five mile climb into the uh, first town. So that's what I'm probably going to try to do. Um, yeah, so yesterday I just didn't film a lot. I, I wasn't feeling it. I was just really tired. Um, right when I started my day, a lady was coming the other direction. And I was like, hey, you're going the wrong way. She goes, I walked I hiked 10 miles yesterday I'm exhausted I'm soaking wet and I'm freezing I'm done and she was not kidding she was heading right back to camp right back to the start I think she's done she might have dried out and changed her mind but you know shows you like this isn't easy sitting here soaking wet well, I'm not wet right now but I'm about to be <laughs> um, like I've been using a good old trick of using a pee bottle because <laughs> it's been raining every night and I don't want to get out of my tent this pouring rain when I'm all nice and warm and dry um but last night because I was here so long I filled her up <laughs> so I have to pee really bad <laughs> um I told you I was going to keep it real when I was out here um so I'm going to pack up it's pouring so I don't know how much filming I'm going to do today um that was the other thing it was off and on raining yesterday so I just didn't want to risk my my phone getting all wetted out so I'll try to film as much as I can today um try to go as far as I can um I'm not really feeling it I'm not gonna lie this is not what I was expecting um I thought it'd be a good thing starting in the desert as opposed to the Appalachian Trail where it can rain on you pretty much every day and I come out to the desert and it's pouring every day which is good for drinking water not so good for you know morale so I'm probably going to be hiking and looking at the weather forecast. It's going to be raining off and on all day today. It's going to be raining all day tomorrow. So I'm probably going to take a zero day once I hit town and just stay in a cabin for a day. Um, rest up a little bit and warm up, dry out, and get all my gear dry. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll get some filming done today. But if I don't, it's probably because of the rain. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. What's up, y'all? I just climbed to the top of this bitch. Excuse my language, I just climbed to the top of this. You see all the way down there, where that little farm is? That was so long ago. But that's kind of where I started. I was a little bit further that way. Um, and have just climbed all the way to the top of this hill. And it's been taking me forever. Good morning, everybody. It's uh, day four. It's still raining. Everything soaked. My sleeping quilt, the foot box is wet because I couldn't get a good tent pitch last night because it was a really small tent spot and. So that kept rubbing up against the outer part of the tent, which got my foot box wet, um, which got the inside of the tent wet. Um, dude, just everything soaked. The only thing that was dry was my sleeping clothes. I had a dry pair of underwear today and a dry pair of socks, which are gonna be soaking wet in about 30 seconds. Um, yeah, there's nothing worse than putting on soaking wet clothes <laughs> when you're getting out of a warm sleeping bag. Um, so I'm probably only going to do four miles today to get to the base of Hauser, um, Hauser Creek, which goes up to a mountain. And then the next day should be a five mile into, uh, I think it's Mount, uh, Mount Laguna, I think. Well, the first town basically. And I'm getting a cabin there. I'm going to dry all my shit out. Um, yeah, so again, I'm probably not going to be doing a lot of filming today because it's just pouring out and I just need to put in miles. Tonight's probably going to be miserable because it's probably going to be a soaking wet <laughs> night. So, yeah, shit's real out here. It's no joke. You get beat up by miles all day. You're getting hit by rain all day. It's just not a good feeling right now. But we'll see what happens. Um, 
I gotta start getting going because I just put on this wet shirt and now I'm starting to get chilled. I gotta start moving so I can warm up. What's going on, everybody? Um, I'm in camp. It rained most of the day today. But the sun came out for like a couple hours and I got to dry out all my gear. So I stopped early. I'm at um, Hauser Creek, the base of this big ass mountain to go into the first town. Um, I'll get a video of the mountain tomorrow morning. So I'm already in bed. <laughs> um, but I didn't get to film much just because it's been pouring constantly. It's still raining now. Um, but there was a break today, which <laughs> thank God I got to dry out my sleeping bag. My sleeping pads, just like I got almost everything dry. Like my shoes, I think the only thing that's still wet, but I'll have dry socks to put in or put on so it won't be as bad. Um, I'm just kind of chilling, drinking some hot chocolate. Let me show you what my campsite looks like. Can I flip it? Nope. So, this is what it looks like when you're hiking all day. So, I got my little stove out because I made myself some hot chocolate. <laughs> Because I deserve some hot chocolate. And other than that, I got everything out drying. Pull back here. We got my cap up there. Got some socks. Got my gloves. <laughs> just everything drying. There's my backpack and my rain jacket. Everything just spread out of my mat. Oops, sorry about the net. And I'm just chilling. Morning everybody, it is the beginning of day five. And like I said, I got a mountain to climb. I got a zigzag all the way up there. So that's gonna be my day today. Sometimes the office and the uh, computer doesn't look so bad, but this should be interesting. Let's see how many hours this will take me. I got five miles to town. Remember all that switchbacking there, maybe a quarter of a mile an actual distance so i gotta take all that hill all that elevation gain and then walk basically five miles so let's see what happens yeah hey, look at that i'm still climbing that giant mountain it's gonna take a while I take a little chance to catch my breath so i'm gonna show you how beautiful it is out here even though it's a desert it's pretty green and I came from somewhere over there. This climb's brutal. It's damn near straight up. They got switchbacks, but even the switchbacks are straight up. And I still got all this to go. 